Morning everybody, uh, Troy from the do-it-yourself world and the dark off-grid project today. Barometric pressure is rising. No, it's falling actually. Okay, the trend is falling. Uh, rain, and definitely it is correct. I think that my weather station is more accurate than the weatherman. But it's dark out today. I want to show you what I'm doing, something unusual and maybe weird to you, but how I use the rainwater and conserve water and uh, resources here at the off-grid homestead. I have my dishes to be washed out in the rain, filling up with rainwater. I, well, I gotta take the lid off that. And over here, I set them out and I let them gather up rainwater and then I wash them with the rainwater and then I put them back out and let them rinse themselves. <laughs> Free resources from the sky. This is how I wash my dishes when uh, when it is raining out. I just use what's there, use the free water. Um, because it's there. So, anyway, thought I'd share that little saving, water saving technique with you. If you ever find yourself in a place or a situation where you don't have as much water, and because mine has been all frozen up, I um, had drained my tanks down to halfway. The valve on the new tote that I got is leaking, so that water won't stop draining. That valve has, uh, it's constantly dripping, and that tank is almost empty, unfortunately. So, um, the other tank, I just ran the, uh, maybe I'll take you out later and show you, but the other tank, I just ran the, um, the water pipes from the roof, the downspouts, into the tote that's inside my shed. I'm filling that up slowly. And it's raining pretty good today, so free water from the sky. Hey everybody, just to let you know it's been raining all day, like non-stop, and so I've been working on videos and forum and comments and, and emails. I've got about five to 10,000 emails I'm just throwing out a number, it could be more than that, maybe 14,000, I think that's right. Anyway, I fell behind, so I'm using the rainy day to work on uh, electronics. I still have a lot of website work to do, and the list keeps growing, so it'll never be boring here at the Off-Grid Homestead and the cyberspace world. I want to show you guys something exciting. Check this out. It works again. I've got running water in a tiny house on wheels again. With this recent thaw, I was able to uh, get the water tanks going and get with all the rainwater I've been collecting, I have running water in the tiny house on wheels. Again, that is very good news. It froze up when I was sick and uh, you know I was down and out for a week or so and it, the water froze up out in the shed because I wasn't finished building it. I would have been finished if I hadn't got sick. But, then I lost my water tanks because everything froze up. I had drained, though. The last thing I did was I drained the water pumps and the lines. The water pump and the filter and the lines. Um, when I knew I was getting sick because I knew it was going to get cold. And I didn't want to risk losing everything. And that was, a, that was a very wise decision. I'm happy I did. But it works. I've got water in a tiny house and wheels again. Back in business. Things are looking good. Can you see the level? I uh, ran the water over to the big tank. Now this was nearly empty. What happened is when I was using it during the freeze, the valve, um, a chunk of ice got in there and I didn't know it. And um, the valve was partly open and leaked out and drained the entire tank during the melt. Um, as warmer sunnier days were coming along, the water would drain out and I couldn't close that valve because it was jammed. It was just a little drip, but it was enough to drain the entire tank on me. And so during this last rain, I filled it up to the top. So I've got water in the tiny house on wheels again. I've got water to spare. This last rainstorm was intense. This tank had the same issue, and I cannot get that valve to stop. It is just dripping and dripping and dripping, and there's nothing I can do. That valve has sprung a leak. And there's nothing I can do, so this water is slowly draining away as it melts. That's it. That's just going to empty. 
And then I want to move that tank anyway because I can't reach the valve. It's probably leaking because of pressure on the handle because I can't quite close it because it sagged. It moved and slid on the pallet and sagged. Therefore, I can't quite close that valve properly. So I need to, uh, I need to build a pallet frame around this. Put it in position where it's going to live. Build a pallet frame around it to properly support it. And then start over again. But I hate to see that pure clean water going to waste. That is clean water. Clean rainwater. I mean, it's not I wouldn't drink it, but it's clean from the sky rainwater. Anyway, um, and I can't get a container under there. So it's just I'm watching it go away. It's so frustrating. I can't get anything under there to fill it. Now I when this main tank filled, what I did is pulled the hose and fill this tank to the top to overflowing alright so that then I siphon into my uh, one that's feeding the tiny house on wheels so I've got quite a system of cisterns and tanks and hoses and tubing but it works and I have about well with this one tank being half empty now I have 275 plus 40 60 Plus about half a tank. I have a lot of water. <laughs> so, alright, well that's it everybody. I'm just working on the computer, so I'll talk to you all later. Morning everybody. It's a heat wave at the off-grid homestead. Quarter to nine in the morning and 47 degrees out. This is madness. I love it. Uh, I like it. It's perfect for construction. Um, it's very humid though. It's 80% humidity which makes it feel a little bit chilly without a jacket. I was just out there a few minutes ago. Um, it's dark. It's supposed to be partly sunny and I hope it's more sunny than dark because I really put a workout on those batteries yesterday. The solar batteries. Hi Felix. So uh, I really worked them out. I did not need the generator. I worked those batteries hard all day. and But today they do need to be topped off. So hopefully we get some sunlight here. Well, a lot going on. I have to leave in 45 minutes though, so I probably won't be home much today. Um, which is sort of a bummer because yesterday was such a great, uh, not a great day, such a rainy day that I didn't get any outdoor work done. But today is going to be a nicer day. But I'm going to be gone for the better half of the day. I'm leaving soon to go take a friend to the doctor. And, uh, well, that's going to tie up half my day. But, uh, you know, you got to help people out. So, I'll see you later. Hopefully, early enough to get some work done here. We'll see how it goes. Troy from the Do-It-Yourself World and the Off-Grid Project. Hopefully, I'll talk to you soon. Hey everybody, I am just home. We did go shopping though. I got some super cheap, super awesome meals. I'll show you a couple of them. And I'm just now home, 4.30. Uh, yeah. And it gets dark in 30 minutes. So that's pretty much the day. Let me show you what I brought home though. Uh, some good stuff. These are a six pack. Let me take you way over so I can show you better. Hold on. This is a six pack of heat and eat meals. But these are all natural. This brand of food is amazing. I love it. This is a instant meal in a pouch, all natural, no artificial ingredients, no preservatives. You throw this in a pan and cook it for two minutes. This is a dollar a meal. This was a six pack for, let me see if I can, hold on, turn it around here. I'm sorry, I'm trying to show you in the light. I've got two packs. Let me pull this over. No, I'm still blocking my light. Let me see here. Um, six dollars for six meals. Um, six dollars for six instant meals. This is just amazing. These are so good. This this brand of food. I go to Ocean State Job Lot in New York and I get these meals. So I've got two of these. Two of these and two of these plus I've got some other meals I'm not sure I think I must be missing a, a, a pack I have some more different meals uh, let me go grab them be right back there's um, soy ginger noodles spicy kung pao 
noodles, there's, I don't even want to try to say that because I'm going to get it wrong, there's another one, there's yet another one, oh, look at this, all natural, all natural, uh, Ocean State Job Lot is the place to go, sorry I'm not trying to advertise and I really don't want you running there and buying my foods because I love this stuff, this is all like one to two dollars for a meal. Heat and eat all natural meals. These are the ultimate, the ultimate in trail foods. You cannot get better for the price and for the quality of food. This is just mind blowing. Uh, what you hear going on is my uh, water boiling for a cup of coffee. But I just wanted to share with you what I was doing while I was out there. I was getting good, healthy trail foods. Because a lot of you know that I do spend a lot of time in the forest and on the trail. These are great. This is a 3.88 ounces ready to eat meals. You just fry this up in a pan. Uh, not this one, but the other ones I showed you. Um, those are 8 ounces. The big ones are 8 ounces. Ready to fry in a pan. These require, these are take 15 minutes, but require water. But actually, I will eat this as my main meal because it's got your vegetables and it's got grains. It's everything. Um, here, heat and eat noodles. Add water, a good, quick, hot meal on a trail. Done in two minutes. And you can't beat this. This is awesome. Really exciting stuff. So actually I'll be taking this out with uh, some of the camp stoves that I'm testing out right now and in uh, next day or so here. And this is the ultimate thing to try it on. So anyway, I'm probably going to be just working on the computer the rest of the day because uh, that's pretty much it. That and putting away my foods. Uh, I got a lot of other food from there but it's not right, like party time interesting exciting stuff. Not like this stuff is. So, I'll talk to you later. If I see something exciting or do something exciting, I'll grab the camera. Otherwise, just know I'm answering your comments. I get about 2,000 comments a day across my channel. And I, let me sit down and talk to you about that. That's a big deal. It's ridiculous looking at my food while I'm talking to you, okay? I'm not going to be doing a lot of more sit-down comments uh, anymore. Comments? Oh, comments in my head sit down chats with you. I'm not going to do a lot of them any, uh, in the next days, weeks or whatever, but I will, um, I want to tell you, I get about 2,000 comments a day. I get, um, a lot of people upset with me. People are actually thinking I'm ignoring them, ignoring their advice. There's no way I can possibly answer every comment. Uh, it takes an for a hundred comments takes me an hour, so two thousand comments would take me twenty hours to answer. I'm sorry if if you think I'm ignoring you, I'm not. I don't get to them all. I just don't. And I have some well-meaning people who actually get upset with me thinking I'm absolutely intentionally ignoring them, and I'm not. So please forgive me if I don't get to your comment in, in the day. Because two thousand today, two thousand tomorrow, it's twenty hours of work every day, and there's just no way. Um, I try to get uh, all of the comments in the first 24 hours on a video and I can't even do that anymore because it's just it's just so much now so um, my email is overflow overrun I'm not reading my email anymore because I've got thousands and thousands of backlogged emails I lost track I lost control so uh, I'm sorry I just uh, I lost control it became too much so when Melanie's here maybe she can help me with some of that uh, and bring you know important emails to my attention or whatever. But for now, I'm I'm overwork overloaded with uh, I just I don't get to it all. So please forgive me if I don't answer your particular comment or if I don't see your particular advice. Uh, I don't mean to ignore people. I'm not intentionally doing it. So I hope uh, you understand. Well, I'm gonna get my coffee and have a, a coffee break here as I'm packing away my food. So I'll talk to you later.